everybody, and welcome to Hardcore Minecraft. And we're just about 400 days in. I beat the dragon last episode. Look at these fancy wings. And besides that, yep, we built a lot of cool stuff around here. And today might be the biggest project yet, because this whole area you see right here, we're gonna completely fill it up with builds. And it's all gonna be inspired by this ship we have right here, the Moon Dancer 2.0. After we beat the dragon last episode, I brought back the dragon egg and the dragon head here. And a lot of you were telling me to take this head and place it here in the front of the ship. There we go. Oh, that's perfect, actually. The moon dancer just got an upgrade. But before we start building giant village expansions with a whole dock and everything, this ship right here needs some crewmates. And I was just casually walking through town over here and uh, heard a bunch of villagers as we passed through the barn. You heard that? I have no idea what they're doing here with the cows, but you know what? I got a job for you guys. Hey, Bubbles. How you doing? You want to help me get some villagers inside a boat? <laughs> All right. Here's a couple boats. Can she teleport? Let's check and see. She should be able to. She's a teleporting queen, really. Told you. Um, I might have to loosen some cows here, but it's fine. Come on out, villagers. Come on out. Come on out. And get trapped. Fishermen, I see. Eh, pretty close to the pirates. That's fine. I lost all my cows. Cows, come on back in. Sorry the villagers messed up your whole day. Oh, it's raining. Perfect weather for wrangling villagers and cows. No, Bubbles, it's okay. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. It's okay. Wait here. I know you don't like to get wet. Here we go. Our first crewmate. <laughs> all right. Go on in. Welcome to your new ship. There he is. The first of the crew of the Moon Dancer. <laughs> Please don't fall in the water and drown. Here we go, crewmate number two. Oh, the dolphin got excited. There you go, my friend. Permission to come aboard granted. Let's see the guy. Oh. Okay. And pirate number three. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Please forgive. Go on to the. Sh oh no! He's gonna drown himself. He's gonna drown himself. No! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. Please get in the boat. I promise I won't hurt you anymore. Sorry. The captain has to be tough but yet firm. There you go. I'm so sorry about this. Don't tell them. Hey, it, uh, it was an accident. I, I, I hit him by mistake. I'm just gonna grab a lead here real fast. And a lot of people last episode thought that I used my last netherite upgrade. Don't worry, I did copy it before I added it to the sword. I'm not that crazy. You know how hard it was for me to find that. I'm just gonna take you along for the muscle. Mm-hmm, that's right. And you can come along for the fun times. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> oh, you're gonna be perfect for this crew. <laughs> look at them running around. Oh, this is so cool. All right, the crew is complete. Come on in, my friends. Come on in to the Moon Dancer 2.0. What? Why did he try to hit me? Oh, because I hit the villager. Oh my, Um, that villager snitched on me that quick? That could have been the second time that I lost my hardcore world to, to an iron golem. This is a mutiny. They took over the ship. They took over the ship. I think I'm gonna make my own iron golem. One that won't hurt me. My own ship. Can't believe this. Come here, golem. How dare you? I'm the captain of the moon dancer. Come on over here. Fight me, fair and square. Oh, that's what you get. That's what you get. Mm-hmm. Sorry you have to see this. Come on in, my friend. I trust you. You're gonna be my second in command now. Thank you very much. Let that be a lesson to ye, pirates. Where are the rest of your friends? Did they leave? <laughs> I guess he didn't want to be a pirate. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'll get a replacement. For now, though, we do need an iron golem over here. But this one, they won't be hurting me. Welcome aboard, friend. Now, if you guys want to be part of my crew, I'm going to pick three in the next episode. So give me your pirate name and a little backstory. It doesn't have to be too long. Maybe just two sentences worth of backstory. And I'm going to put little books in here with your name on it. But I'll definitely pick it in the next one. We'll just clean up this mess. I also asked you guys last episode to name my wings. There were so many good ones, but I had to pick this one. The Wings of Dawn. Oh, doesn't that sound amazing? This is from just a space kiwi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Reminds me of a peaceful realm called Dawn that I used to visit quite a bit back in the day. Now, before we start building this huge village expansion, we got a lot of clearing to do over here. Look at all of that space we have to work with now. We can add so many bills in this area. 
And I think I'm gonna go a little old school with this segment. How about we do a little how to build a Minecraft village tutorial? <laughs> This'll be fun. So we're gonna do this in five easy steps. Number one, we're gonna outline the whole thing. So to outline everything, I'm gonna need a bunch of wool. And luckily, we still have a lot of wool left over here in our lovely wool farm, which by the way, I've got a name for it already. And the wool farm is called the Cozy Corridor. Isn't that cozy? Yeah, it's a perfect name. This is by, I'm gonna mispronounce this so bad, Pit June. Thank you so much for that name. So for wool, I need two colors. Let's go with light blue for the buildings and lime green for the roads. All right, let's set this up. So we have a nice path connecting to our main path going straight into this little fishing village. I got a little circle over here. I'm thinking maybe we could put a nice well in the center. Path laid out all the way around here and crossing all these sections. But the build outlines are looking pretty good. We got all this space pretty much filled out. We got some fully diagonals. We got some uh, semi-diagonals. We got a couple decent sized buildings here. So now that we have the outline in place, it's time for step number two which is setting up the block palette. And for the block palette, we can pretty much go with anything, but I wanna keep up with the theme that we had going over here with our starter area. And this is gonna round off this area perfectly before we transition to the other style that we have over there. So if you notice, we got packed mud, we got stripped spruce, we got white concrete, texturing with the white concrete, we have a little bit of the unstripped birch and some diorite. Some texture variation for the packed mud side. We do have a little bit of granite. And in certain cases, I like to bring in a little bit of the jungle wood. That's right, Rosie. Hi. I'll take a picture, Pop. Thank you so much. Mwah. You're cute. I do like having these trims for note blocks, so we have to bring that into this. Also some stripped oak. Lots of spruce, though, with trap doors and slabs and stairs. Oh, and a lot of bamboo for the roofs. So now that we know what the block palette's gonna be, it's time for step number three. Let's gather it. So we're gonna start over here with the wood. We got plenty of spruce, plenty of oak, still a bunch of trap doors and slabs already set up. And yes, there's fish in here. Don't worry, it's not supposed to be here. It, I'm, I'm gonna place it where it's supposed to go soon. Trust me, we're running a little low on bamboo. And I know the bamboo's been running, so we should have a bunch in here still. Yep, that's uh, a bunch. <laughs> we're good. Let's just convert these all into the block of bamboo and make these into planks. As far as the packed mud, we should be actually pretty good. We're definitely fine with granite. And diorite, yeah, we don't need that much. Mossy, we're doing great. I'm gonna need to make a lot of white concrete, but we don't have much gravel and sand left. Oh, that's smooth sand stuff. That's the sand. Yeah, here's the sand. Um, I think we're covered with the white dye. But I think we need to go fly off to a little gravel biome and get a bunch of that. But our wings of dawn are almost dead. So let's go repair this thing. There we go. All fixed up. Even my tools. One more hit before I go. Get destroyed. And actually, I did see a lot of gravel in the nether. So I'm going to take an anvil, some fire res. Let's see if I can find my friend. Yep. There he is, right where I left him. Hey, my friend. Oh, come on over. Oh, I don't have the, the little thing on the stick. Oh, oh, I'm fine. Sorry. I'm fine. Everything's fine. You know what? I'll go to you. Um, can I? Yes. I'll go to you. It's okay. I'll come to you. <laughs> and everybody, meet our good Strider friend that we had fun with in the adventures of the last episode. And this right here is... Wally. <laughs> Hi, Wally. <laughs> this is an amazing name. This is from Eli. Thank you so much. This is a beautiful name. Uh, technically, I like it because uh, Wally West is the name of an amazing character that also is the Flash. So, uh, Wally's red. The Flash is red. You know what? I like comics. You're the fastest man alive. <laughs> and the cutest. Now, get me out of this thing. And there's a bunch of gravel right there. See you in a little bit, Wally. I love nether gravel. It's very nice. Oop. It's also very dangerous. Oh, that all collapsed. Yep, that's a good amount of gravel. Let's go back. Bye, Wally. Love you. See you later. Hey, Bubbles, you're protecting the cows. Cool. I'm going to need a little bit of milk. I want to get rid of these little fart bubbles that are in front of my face. Perfect. Let's go back home, Bubbles. Now let's just make some white concrete. Just need some bone meal and a little more sand. Our handy crafting bench. Let's convert all that into white dye. And then all this into white concrete powder. Oh, this is more than enough. Oh, 
Oh, hello, welcome. Bubbles, come here. Free leads. Get them. Don't. Are you sure you want to do that? Huh? Bubbles, destroy. You don't know who you're messing with. I will take those leads, and I will take those leads right now. Bubbles, attack. Thank you. Oh, you can't let him get away, Bubbles. No witnesses. Good girl. <laughs> That's a good girl. She's vicious, but beautiful. And with that, I think we got a good amount of material here to get this started. So it's time for step number four, as the iron golem is spinning in the background. Look at him go. He's excited. We just need to start building the thing. But we'll do this in segments. Let's start first with the docks. Docks are looking pretty good. So we have this big old strip here right down the center. We have a small dockside area popping out of the back of this house. And then my favorite part, it looks like a little bit of a crescent moon spot over here. But I also have a way up here on this side with this stair that eventually is going to lead and connect to this path. And then down and around this area, we have this more organic one going up to this area. But now for the fun part. Let's lift up all of this light blue over here into actual buildings. builds are in place and it's looking really really good but if you notice it looks kind of bare kind of empty there's no details at all anywhere but it does look nice <laughs> it does look filled in and this angle right over here oh that looks really cool also have this one build that's kind of like under construction i've always wanted to do something like this and i think it fits really well around here since most of the builds are kind of ruined anyways <laughs> maybe over time we do build it up actually but our fishing village expansion it looks so good so if you fly back and take a look yeah that just matches the area so well look at that it looks really cool and step five in our how to build a village segment the detailing phase Let's finish this place off and make it look extra nice. Fishing Village expansion is all complete. Look at this area. Doesn't it look awesome? Bubbles loves it. Look at her. We even have some villagers moving in as well down here. I'm going to put a bunch of beds so we can get them breeding around here. Am I right? That's right. I love this little market stall over here. We even have a worker. That's right. What are you selling? Oh, you haven't opened yet? Okay, let me know when it opens, okay? I'll tell the whole village. But I did bone meal a bunch of this area. We have barrels and chests all over the place. Even down there, that's one of my favorite spots. Look at all that. Even have a ladder to get down if you want to fish from the bottom area. But boats can dock on the side or they can just use this as a fishing pier. But I did add a bunch of flowers here. This little rocky area looks so nice. And I did pepper in a couple default trees just to fill out the empty spaces. Got this big boy right here. Are you stuck? Go ahead. Silly. 
But all the paths are connected, bushes everywhere, overgrown everywhere. We don't have any interior, but we're gonna do some together right now. This one right here, I'm thinking about making this into a little bit of a fishing hut. Almost like they sell fish and fishing products. Oh, come on, rain. So I'm thinking here we can make a little bit of a shelf. Throw in some campfires on the top. And then up here, I'm just gonna throw in a bunch of random fish. But we're gonna extinguish all of these so the fish stay inside the campfire. We can do a little bit of a fishing pallet over here. Drop some barrels, extinguish these guys, and throw some fish on these. Gonna drop some chest around. I already had some already on top. Chest and barrels are a great way to fill out the space. And I'm just gonna throw even more back here. And just for added decoration, a little flower pot over here. I'm gonna put a pot on top of that pot, potception. And throw a little azalea in here and stack it up. Yeah, this is perfect. We just need a name for the fish shop. Oh, Bubbles, I know you're getting wet. I'm so sorry. Come over here. Sorry about that. There you go. I apologize. I apologize, but you should have moved on your own. Ah, that's better. Sorry, Bubbles. Now, this building right here, I think it'll be perfect for a little bit of a warehouse where people can drop off their stuff that they come in from the dockside and just park it in here. Of course, for a fee. So I'm thinking over here, we add some of these pots. Just like that. Grab some bushes. Let's go with them flowering azaleas and put these on the top. Let's get a little seat right there in the front for people to have to wait. And let's try to see if I can get a painting here in the middle. Oh, that's perfect. That's the founder. Then right here, let's stack up some trap doors. Thinking three up. Another one over here. And then let's close these off so we can have some shelving. I'm going to repeat this over here on this side. And maybe one in the middle too. And of course, we could put some clutter in here by adding some barrels all the way around. Chests on certain sides. You can mirror this kind of on this side. I can even add some campfires on the tops right around here. Maybe another one there. Extinguish them, of course, because we don't want to have a fire hazard over here. Throw in some flower pots up here, too. And that looks pretty good. Maybe back here we can have some kind of cashier person or something. Let's put a little light. And then one more shelf. That's perfect. And of course, I'm gonna need a name for the warehouse. <laughs> Let me know. Now I'm thinking about doing one more over here on this side. Now this little round building, I already started to add some details on the top, but I'm thinking this could be the perfect spot for a cartographer. Now I'm thinking cartography tables in the back, upside down stair in the side. I'm gonna put a seat right over here, a couple signs on the side, and a banner right there. I'm gonna put a bunk bed for the cartographers over here. So it's gonna go up like that, little ladder to get to the top, trap doors going up by three, and some trap doors there, and a bed right here on the top. I'm gonna to find the middle, which is right there. I'm gonna put a piece of dark oak, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of a plus shape here on the sides. And some dark oak slabs around it like so. And a big old clock right there. And I'm gonna make a little shelf over here on this side. So let's go up by four on this one. Four on this one. Some slabs and some trapdoors there. Of course, like always, let's drop some barrels and chests and that should be perfect. I'm guessing these cartographers are very big on exploring. So I'm just gonna drop some pots over here. These have goodies trapped inside from all their adventures. So I'm gonna put them all around like that. And extra barrels and chests, why not? And I have some space for a couple paintings. So let's put one here and there. Oh, that's nice. And I'm just gonna put some extra maps over here and some unexplored ones there. We got this part of the island all mapped out over here. And then for this one, I just have a little spot for the villager to live. No big deal. Oh, sorry, is that your home? Sorry about that. I was just showing people. But we still have one build, two, three, and four that have nothing inside it. So in the comment section, let me know what should we put inside those buildings? Maybe a specific type of shop or anything really. Just let me know. In the next one, we'll fill the rest out. I can't wait to see what ideas you guys come up with. Oh, and I almost forgot. We got to update our map over here. Yup, this looks a lot better. So let's grab some food and let's channel our inner pirates and go exploring and see if we can find some more loot. Let's get out of here. Wow, look at this terrain we found. Oh, it's so good to have an elytra. We can find all these far off areas. Is that calcite? <laughs> if you ever need calcite, I know where to go. Oh, I love having an elytra. We get to see all these cool far off spots. This would have taken me forever to walk over here. That is the smallest cherry grove biome I've ever seen. <laughs> One tree. <laughs> That's cool. What do we have here? Eh, nothing good. Ooh, I'm gonna rob these villagers. Haha. <laughs> They gonna do nothing about it. I will also take your books. This is all mine. Whoa. That piece of grass is sleeping. Yoink. 
You saw nothing. We're gone. Oh, is that a jungle temple? Oh, yeah, we got a jungle temple. Oh, that's cool. Wait, there's templates in these, right? Oh, let's see if there's any templates. Hey, birdie. I ain't got time for your traps. Oh, there's nothing in here. Let's break all these. Oh, hello. Um, shield. I got one of those. Oh, multiple baddies. You're dead. Oh, come on. What a waste. Nothing good in here. Maybe we get lucky in the next one. Oh, pillager outpost. That's cool. Please, please, I do need that armor trim. <laughs> Let's see. Cross your fingers. Let's hope it's up here. Oh, it's a lot of bad guys. Any fairies? Oh, they got a bunch of fairies. I'm not going to save them. We're way too far from home. Yes, finally. Sentry, armor, trim, and one of the greatest hordes in the history of Minecraft. <laughs> That's my favorite. Take this with you. You're welcome. Let's start putting stuff in the shulker box. Uh, looks like we're running out of space. You know what? I'll free the fairies, but I will not take them with me, okay? Uh, we still have to travel a far ways. All right, fairies. You're welcome. You can go now. Enjoy your life. Ah! Oh, there's one more. Hmm. Fine, I'll do one more good deed, and then I'm out. Be free! Ah! We're gone. We're such a hero. Oh, village. Wow, right on top of the hill, too. Hola. Nope, nothing. Hola, buenos dias. Oh, I'll take your bread. Oh, yoink. Bell number two, acquired. Get robbed. Oh, man, you guys should build a bridge over here or something. Sheesh. And we're off. Oh, this is a nice little area, too. Light your durability is more than half still, so we're pretty good. Oh, I've been looking for a big swamp, too. I do see something that I want. Blue orchids. This is the best trip ever. Oh, there is a witch's hut right there. Oh, perfect. I might come back and do something with this thing. Oh, and a black cat. Hi, kitty. Is your mama home? Oh, there you are. Hi. Uh, my name is Sausage. I live uh, not in the neighborhood. I just uh, pass it through. Oh, she mad. Oh, you mad. You mad. Oh, I'm leaving. Uh, I'm leaving. I don't need a witch giving me a hex or anything. Oh my god, look at that! We have ourselves a woodland mansion! Oh, I don't know if I'm ever ready for any of that. I need to, I need to take a peek at least. Anything else around here? Wow, okay, we've come a long way. Still not finished with that island though. So we have to be very careful if we do what I'm thinking we're gonna do. And what I'm thinking, let's just maybe just pop out on the top, look around a little bit. If we see any Vex, we're gone. Completely gone. Like, speedy, out of here. This might be the dumbest thing, okay? I have lost a hardcore world to a Vex. I don't wanna talk about it, but it happened. So uh, we're not gonna go too deep in here, okay? We got a lot of building left to do in this series. Okay, okay, we're just gonna check really quickly right here at the window. If anything goes crazy, we fly right out, okay? I, w I just really would like that armor trim. It is a beautiful armor trim. It's one of the best armor trims that I've ever seen. That's a ladder. There could be a chest up there. You know what? Oh, I hear some bad men. I hear bad men. There's a lot of bad men in there, but not the most dangerous of the bad men. Let's check this side. Any chest that we can just snatch up real fast. That's an ugly face. All right, let's get to the roof. Let's get to the rooftop. All right, I think... I can break in right here. Okay, there's a chest right there. Please, please. All I want is the armature. I get the armature, I'm leaving. All right, deal. Get the armature, I'm leaving. Okay, let's break a couple. Oh, no, that's a dangerous spot to break. Let's make a little baby stairwell going down. We got it. We got it. What's that hole? That's a default ugly hole. We did it. <laughs> that's the hole. Okay, all right. Um, I think that's good. I think we're. I think this is really all I wanted. This is really all I wanted. The Vex armor trip. That's all I wanted. I don't need to go any farther in here, or do I? I shouldn't. I shouldn't. That's really all I wanted. That's it. That's it. Should I check one more thing though? I shouldn't get greedy. I shouldn't get greedy though. Uh, let's uh, let's just look around. Let's just look around. Let's just maybe there's something right at the window. Maybe there's something right at the window. What is that? Oh, oh no, not the Johnny man. Oh, is that a kitty cat? It's a big kitty cat inside. They got a huge cat inside. What is that? Oh, this one usually does have a chest as well. Hmm. Okay, just out of curiosity. Yes, I know this is bad. I shouldn't. I should stop. Let's just open here. I think there's usually a chest up here as well in this little catwalk areas. 
Like, see? Chest? Oh! The chest right there! Okay, shush, 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 shush him out. We check one more chest and then we fly away. Okay? This is just greed, getting the best of me. Another one! And cat, fire protection. I'll take that lead as well. Who are you? You're gonna do a wrestling match later on. I won't be around to see it. All right, you know what? GG, GG me right now in the comment section because I did it. I'm leaving. I'm not. I should maybe try to get a totem, but I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not doing it. I'm just. I'm just gonna go. We'll come back later on when we have a little bit more uh, courage in our system. But right now, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go home with my life and the armor trims, a baby. Oh no! I, I, I changed your mind. Sorry, you know, I, I'm not tempting uh, fate this time. <laughs> uh, no greed for me. We're going home. That was close. Please don't follow me. Please don't follow me. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Oh, we got one more pillager outpost. You know, might as well check it out. Uh, it might be something cool. Let's see. Yep, more sentry trims. In a splash. Very cool. Let's get out of here. And there it is. The moon dancer and the beautiful island of the lost road. Let's visit our armor trim specialist over here. Hello. Hi. Oh, my old trim. How are you? So now we have these guys. And this one. Oh, there's so many good ones. Which one do you guys like better? The Sentry or the Vex? But I'm going to have a think. Maybe I do a little bit of a change up on my armor for the next one. But I think we did awesome in that adventure. And we survived. And now something that I've noticed is that we're really getting low on rockets. So why don't we build? an epic gunpowder farm in the next one. That's a good toot.